Six Chameleon taking me inside her $13 million home past her impressive five Grammy display. Christina Aguilera is a timeless pop star who I think has one of the best and most powerful voices out there. I mean, she's even made the Rolling Stone list for the best singers of all time in the past, so there's the proof. With her long running career success, Christina's managed to purchase some top of the line Hollywood real estate over the years. She doesn't seem to move around much, but her homes are gorgeous, so I can see why. In this video, we'll look at Christina's luxury estate in Beverly Hills and more. Christina Aguilera is a singer, songwriter, actress, and also a TV personality since she was a judge on the show The Voice. She's 39 years old at the time of this recording, but she's been working for years. I like to play a lot of sports. I like outdoor activities, swimming, going to zoos and little places like that. Hey, you know, I'm really excited about this. I've uh, never ridden a horse before, so uh, come on, let's go check it out. I comb her hair. Definitely got some split hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah, little mohawk. Christina was one of those young talents from the Mickey Mouse Club alongside the likes of Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears and more when they were only kids. Personally, I've always loved Christina and thought she had one of the most amazing voices ever. She's earned five Grammy Awards over her career, a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame and plenty more, including a People's Voice Award for the ability to reach listeners across various genres, which is true. In 2008, Rolling Stone recognized Christina for being one of the 100 greatest singers of all time and wrote that she has had the finesse and power of a blues queen ever since she was a child star. I could go on and on about Christina's talents and awards, but today we'll be focusing less on that and more on her real estate. At the time, Christina is living with her two children, and although she's previously divorced, she's engaged at the moment to Matthew Rutler. Christina's estimated net worth is at about $180 million, and with that kind of money, you know she has a gorgeous place in LA. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be looking at where Christina Aguilera calls home, including her Beverly Hills mansion and more. I'm not sure if you know, but one of her previous homes actually used to belong to a famous rock star and was shown on TV, but I'll tell you who a little later. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe, then ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Mariah Carey and Britney Spears, and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Go follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with Christina's current mansion. We know that up until recently, the pop star had had a residency in Las Vegas called The Experience, performing shows all the time at the Zappos Theater. Is that mama on the screen? Yeah. You see her? Aguilera, whose nine-year-old son, Max, showed off some impressive moves at his mother's rehearsal. He joined in as Aguilera's backup dancers practiced their choreography to her 2006 hit, Ain't No Other Man. Using his water bottle as a microphone, it seems Max is ready to take center stage. The dancers continued the routine with two hyping Max up. With two it began last year and was set to end in November 2020. However, since the world is basically on hold right now, schedules will likely change. I'd assume with all the time Christina was spending in Vegas, she either had a penthouse on the strip that was complimentary or was renting out a nearby mansion, but that hasn't been confirmed. We do know that she doesn't seem to move around a lot and has been living in a beautiful mansion in Beverly Hills since 2013. Christina paid $10.75 million for this home and it's located in the Mulholland Estates in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood. Technically, Mulholland Estates isn't in Beverly Hills, but the zip code is still 90210. This neighborhood is located in the San Fernando Valley and is a gated community, of course. Celebrities love it, and some of Christina's famous neighbors were Charlie Sheen and Paris Hilton, but I'm not sure if they've moved. While some say this mansion is a slight downgrade from Christina's previous home since it has less bedrooms, I'll let you guys be the judge because we'll look at the other one right after. Christina's Mulholland Estates mansion spans 11,107 square feet of living space, and it was built in a Mediterranean style. The the seller of the mansion was Tom Gores, who owns the Detroit Pistons, and he was previously leasing it to Adrian Malouf from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for a massive 20k per month. 
Her mansion sits on just under an acre of land and has six bedrooms and nine baths. It's more sophisticated than the last with marble floors throughout and classy decoration. There's a large formal living room and dining room as well as a wood paneled library, two bars, a walk-in wine cellar and five fireplaces throughout the home. The den has a double height ceiling and the eating kitchen includes a walk-in pantry on top of the line appliances. Not to mention Christina also has a room that's called the loggia with a wood paneled ceiling and mural walls and a home movie theater. Each of the five guest bedrooms has a private ensuite bathroom and the second floor master suite is something else altogether. There's a carved stone fireplace, a private office that could act as a dressing room, two walk-in closets, and the master bath comes with two rooms, twin vanities, a steam shower, and soaking tub. Not to mention Christina's master suite has direct access to a private terrace. Throughout the house, there are plenty of oversized arch glass doors leading to the picture-perfect backyard and entertainment areas. Outside Christina's mansion, you'll find gorgeous landscaping and gardens, flagstone terraces, a stone gazebo, built-in barbecue station, and a couple fountains. Of course, there's a saltwater swimming pool and spa with a nearby bathhouse if you feel like taking a break. For ultimate privacy, she also has the whole property secured with state-of-the-art security systems and high-tech cameras. Christina's been happily living in her Sherman Oaks mansion for a while now, and we can still catch glimpses of it on her Instagram from time to time. Like I mentioned, Christina lived in another Beverly Hills home prior to this, but put it on the market back in 2012 for a massive $13.5 million. This home was actually famous because Ozzy Osbourne owned it and the Osbournes lived here during the filming of their hit MTV reality show. So if the place looks familiar from the photos, that's exactly why. Christina bought the mansion in 2008 for $11.5 million and it's located in the lavish, celeb-filled neighborhood of the Hollywood Hills. The pink Mediterranean-style house was modern and spanned about 10,000 square feet of living space with six beds and nine baths. It sat on a lot that was over half an acre of land and was completely gated. The color scheme here included a lot of pinks, reds, and blacks, and the home's interior was decorated in a gothic burlesque style. Personally, I love it. Upon first walking in the home, you're greeted by high ceilings, a red chandelier, and winding staircase. Christina's previous mansion had the expected amenities like a traditional chef's kitchen with an eating bar, a formal dining room, and a living room with a grand piano. In fact, most of the filming on the show The Osbournes took place in the kitchen and main living area, so they got the most attention. There's also an office with fireplace, a full at home gym, a games room, home movie theater, salon area, and even a gift wrapping room, whatever that is. There's also a cute children's room, which likely used to belong to her eldest son, Max. Christina's master suite in this Hollywood Hills home had a raised platform to hold a massive bed, a fireplace beside the freestanding tub, full lounge area, and his and hers baths, with his and hers walk in closets too. Looking at how Christina decorated her walk-in closet or dressing room, it was super impressive. I love how spacious it is, not to mention all the pink because it's definitely my favorite color. Moving outside the mansion, there's an additional guest house with built-in recording studio and large pool, complete with a water slide and grotto spa. The huge outdoor area also has a zen-looking cabana space, as well as more patio areas to relax and entertain. Although Christina sold this home, I'm jealous of whoever got to live there. I actually love the interior design and think she had great taste. So now we've taken a look at where Miss Christina Aguilera calls home with her family, including the mansion in Sherman Oaks she's lived in since 2013 and is likely carrying out her 2020 quarantine in. We also saw her previous home that used to belong to the infamous Osborne family and was even featured on their reality show way back in the day. I'm sure Christina is happy in her current home because she hasn't moved in a while, but my personal favorite was her previous mansion. What about you guys? Which one of Christina's homes did you like best? I liked her old one because of the unique gothic style and how she designed each room to have a different vibe. Not to mention, I love all the pink and red accents. Okay guys, now I'll read out a few of your comments from previous videos. On our Ellen DeGeneres house tour, Jane Lowe commented saying, I thought you made a mistake. Ellen is 62. What? I had to Google it. Yes, 62. I agree, Jane. I was shocked to hear that's her age, but good for her for looking so young. And finally, on our recent Tom Brady house tour, Sunny D wrote, I'm with you. I love their French country house. It's gorgeous. Can't wait to see their next home in Florida. Yes, we'll have to do an updated one once Tom and Giselle get a new home in Tampa, and I bet it will be massive. All right, guys, that's all I could find at Christina Aguilera's mansions. We know she doesn't move around much, it seems, but each of the homes she's had in Beverly Hills and Hollywood have been gorgeous. What was your favorite part of the homes? I gotta say that I loved the dressing room or walk-in closet in her first house along with everything else. The bedrooms were super cool too. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all next time. Bye!